name's Brett Kepler. Okay. Thank you. So what have you brought to the harvest today? I have these photos mm -hmm. of my grandfather's uh, business. Okay. He started in business in 1917, 100 years ago this year, mm -hmm. when he was 13 years old. Wow. He assumed the horse that he was working with his employer because his employer couldn't pay him. Mm -hmm. So he started picking up garbage okay. and delivering freight from the uh, train station. Then this is his first truck mm -hmm. and his first employee whose name last name was Rao. And then later he bought a, this truck mm -hmm to haul ice and deliver ice in Milton. So he first started off with the horse that was given to him. That's correct. And you said that he picked up garbage around? Garbage and hauled on this wagon. You can okay. see freight, uh, probably from the train station, to stores and homes. Right. And these photos, they've been in your family since your grandfather? Yes. My grandfather was born in 1904, mm -hmm. and the story goes that he was working after school and summers for the man that owned this horse, and the man couldn't pay him. So he said, when his father went to say, aren't you going to pay this boy? Yeah. Um, the guy said, George, I can't pay him, so you might as well take the horse. So he started his own business. His school teachers were keeping his books, and when he was in the eighth grade, mm -hmm. two years after he started this business, the school teacher said, Parsh, you're making more money than I am. <laughs> you might as well quit and do this full time. So also, I have some pictures of his family. This one is from 1942, mm -hmm. and there was a, a photographer in town named Ishiguro, and he would have taken this photo in front of their home on North Fort or on Fourth Street mm -hmm. along the river. The home's still there today, and at the time, this was not in the borough of Milton. It is now, or it would be the oldest town, uh, the oldest home in uh, Milton. In this photo are the original Kepler brothers. This was George and my grandfather, Parse, and Parse's wife, Alice Day. This is my father, Louis B. Kepler, this is my uncle, their oldest son, F. Parson Kepler, Jr. The next in line would have been Donald mm -hmm. and Alice. She's now Alice Moser, and she's the only one in the photo that's still alive. And you said this is from 1942, right? Well, I, the picture, the license plate from, uh, is from 1942, okay. so I'm assuming this is 42 right. or newer. Those are really clear photos. And then this is his 50th anniversary of service to Milton in the trucking business. Uh, 1917, he would have been 13 years old. Yeah. 1967. And this man that he's receiving titles from was Art Logan. And Art Logan owned the GMC dealership, which was also his cousin. Then, this is a, a later picture of one of his steel trucks. He delivered a lot of steel for Milton Manufacturing, which had been Boyardi Steel. Mm -hmm. After Boyardi family sold the uh, food processing plant to um, American Home Foods, he started Boyardi Steel and then turned that over to Mayor Chapman Scott. And at the time, this was Merritt Chapman Scott. 
this is my uncle, uh, Parse Jr. So he just provided trucks for people in the area, like after... Oh no, nationwide. Nationwide. Okay. Yes. Local and long distance hauling was the advertisement. Then this is my father, Louis B. Kepler, mm -hmm. and he worked with my grandfather as general manager of the Kepler Brothers Trucking until 1968 mm -hmm. when he started a side business called Professional Driver Service, okay. where they leased truck drivers to um, many different area companies, including uh, Milton Manufacturing to halt to drive these trucks, Seco, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Pennsylvania House Furniture, Zenith at the time was in business in Watsontown, uh, ACNF, which is the local car shop, um, and they hauled American Home Foods goods also through professional drivers, right. as well as Pennsylvania House Furniture, National Gypsum, Gold Bond, and others. In 1975, my father, Louis B. Kepler, uh, started Professional Drivers Academy, and that is now the business I run. Okay. So that was uh, 40 years old two years ago, so it's 42 years old this year. And that's the only surviving business of that truck, that, the trucking business that my grandfather started. So I'm a third generation Milton truck transportation employee business owner. So I noticed that you had the 50th anniversary or 50 years of service. Yes. Are you going to do anything this year for the 100 years? Well, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're doing? Okay, cool. So for, folk, for folks unfamiliar with Milton watching this video, what does your item tell them about Milton as a town? Uh, three generations of truck transportation family born and raised here. I can trace uh, our heritage back to the Civil War in the Upper Cemetery. Uh, my grandfather's mother's name was Nettie Brook, and her father's name was Parson Kepl or Parson Brook, okay. and his father's name was Peter Brook, mm -hmm. who fought in the Civil War, and his um, his. Um, all those graves are in the Milton Cemetery. And some time ago, uh, my grandfather had a, um, a friend named Jerry Mays, mm -hmm. who was the um, operator of Milton Monument Works. Mm -hmm. And he paid for the restoration of the uh, Governor Pollock uh, tombstone in the upper cemetery. It had fallen in disrepair, it was stained, and they, they cleaned it. Do you think that your trucking business will continue for further generations? Well, my son lives in Helena, Montana, and he is a successful educator there. Mm -hmm. He's probably not interested. But he does have two sons, mm -hmm. two more Kepler brothers, uh, that I have a f photo on my cell phone mm -hmm. uh, that uh, of them standing in front of this picture that's oh, wow. on the that's on the uh, this is depicted on the mural uh, on the Moose Building downtown. Okay. So I have a picture of them standing in front of the mural downtown mm -hmm. with my son and my grandsons. Wow. Do you think so they'll continue it, Ben? They will continue um, farming, probably, in Montana. Okay. Uh, my other son lives in uh, 
Hagerstown, Maryland, mm -hmm. and he's not interested in the trucking business. Okay. My daughter lives in um, Doylestown, and she's not interested in the trucking <laughs> business. So um, this may be the end of mm -hmm. this uh, business in Milton, although I do have two cousins that um, sons of cousins okay. that are either truck drivers or are involved in the trucking business. Cool. Do you have any final thoughts that you want to share? Well, Milton has always been a prosperous town and uh, I love it. It's my hometown. Mm -hmm. I uh, shoveled the walks on this property <laughs> when I was quite young mm -hmm. and uh, I would just like the um, the people that see this in years to come to remember my grandfather, mm -hmm. hardworking, preteen. Yeah, 13 years old. Yes, and uh, my father who uh, was involved in the Milton mm -hmm. uh, Chamber of Commerce and the United Way and uh, uh, many other organizations.